thoughts? Hornets released some new City Edition uniform today. I, I love, love it. I want some so bad. They look good. That mint color with the gold. Yeah. Send them to everybody, not just Zach. <laughs> I was going to mention it too. I like them too. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I guess it's been about two weeks since I've been on here, so I hope I can remember how to do this. Um, it's been a little crazy, which is good. I've been actually shooting stills on a video commercial set the past two days of this week, and I traveled a thousand miles last week for a shoot that uh, I've got to keep a lid on for a couple more weeks, which is so, so tough. I also had my first real YouTube uh, collaboration on that shoot, so I think there's some exciting content to come on here. Uh, that is if you like this kind of thing, namely cameras and real photo shoot experiences. So hit that subscribe button if that's something you're into. Okay, this shoot that I'm going to show um, from the intro actually just dropped last week, so I can now put it out. It was comprised of two shoots, actually. Um, actually seems to be the word of the day. Uh, but the first shoot was uh, where the um, first R5 photo shoot experience video came from, which I'll link here. Uh, but I obviously didn't show uh, these new unis. And this is gonna be something that is gonna come up in the future with my type of work, where I'm having photo shoots, but I'm not allowed to show the results for weeks or even months in some cases. Uh, and that's something I'm just going to figure out how to work around, uh, I guess, in the future as I keep this channel going. Uh, okay, before I get asked, um, a quick note about the gear I used on this shoot. Uh, once again, the cameras uh, were the Canon R5s, and I was using the Face Detect autofocus and uh, the servo drive mode with the 24 to 70, and the also used the 70 to 200. Uh, 2.8 lenses. Um, now let's rewind to that intro sequence. And here's where you can see just a couple of examples of how my work is used in a product launch. Uh, you could see it on the news and in graphics that show up on Twitter and sports related websites in this case. Um, the purpose in showing this is to just to show uh, these different avenues uh, where work is used and I'm sure some of you who are watching this have photographed campaigns and know the feeling, but I also know there are many others who haven't yet had that experience. If you're in that latter group, I hope you view these videos as a source of inspiration, um, as in as if uh, this guy <laughs> can do that. Um, I sure as hell can too. So in saying that, it also doesn't have to be sports related. Okay, but I'm getting off track here. Um, back to this uh, first shoot. Um, it was where we shot everything on white to isolate the details of the uniform. Uh, so we had all that in the can, and at the end of the shoot, we used the concrete background. You can see in some of the behind the scenes pictures for, we used that background for a few shots. Uh, now this brings me to something I always try to do when possible, and I'm gonna cue this uh, bonus tip graphic. Uh, normally when you have a shoot like this, there is a set shot list of images your client is wanting to capture to meet their needs. And I think it's our job not only to capture those items impressively, but to also try and think outside of that list of images uh, where you might be able to take things to the next level. Uh, in this case, it wasn't all that hard. I was looking at an amazing concrete wall behind our backdrop, and we were able to make some time at the end of the shoot to use that wall. Uh, we could have easily stopped uh, when we got what we needed off of that base shot list, but those are the types of things that can separate you from other photographers. 
I mean, let's face it, everyone can buy the same gear and pretty much everyone uh, can take pretty pictures. So for me, uh, at least, it becomes more about how I can uh, separate and differentiate myself from the next guy. Now, not only did those shots with the wall look great, it actually led to a second shoot uh, to take the idea even further. Now, this second shoot was with a different player, Devontae Graham, and it actually produced the lead image that was sent to the press to promote these new uniforms. So, let's take a look at the behind the scenes video I was able to film, uh, where we can see exactly how I captured that image. So I've got the behind the scenes video pulled up here. Uh, we've got Devante on the set uh, in the fancy new Nike City Edition uniform, which looks fantastic. I'll quickly run through the lights too while uh, I've got this up. Um, currently, he's uh, being coached here by the creative director going through the shot list and all, and all that, so he'll know what we're expecting uh, through the shoot. Um, but as far as lighting is concerned, I've got one boom here, which is an overhead light into a medium uh, Westcott umbrella. Uh, my second boom is here with a uh, collapsible beauty dish with another pro photo. Um, these are battery, actually, let's see. Uh, yeah, all these are um, battery controlled, the B1s. Um, seven foot uh, umbrella here, Westcott. Then I've got two, one light here, and you can see the other one over here on the edge of frame uh, with reflectors. Uh, so, and then I've got another fill light behind me, which you, you can't see out of frame, and it's another one of these seven foot umbrellas. Uh, on the right hand side, I've got a D2 um, going into this one by six strip box. Uh, that one I power up so I get a nice uh, crispy edge on that side uh, over here on this side of the player. And with the D2, the recycle time uh, keeps up with the other lights, which are not as pow not powered as highly as that one. So, and here I am kind of going through the basics of what we're going to do at the beginning. Uh, this. It's just kind of the standard type stuff that we'll catch usually at the beginning of these photo shoots. But let's fast forward to our hero image. And you can kind of see as I scrub through here, some of the other shots that we did. And we'll get to this point right here. And so this is where we're pulling out the background and we're gonna expose the wall uh, back here. And this kind of carries on with that theme from the previous shoot, which I was talking about earlier in this video. And here I am <laughs> looking like, a, like an idiot showing a uh, NBA point guard uh, how I need him to position himself uh, for this first uh, shot. So basically my reasoning there is where the hero on set today is this uniform. So by getting him to rotate um, that way, <laughs> and you can see me, uh, demonstrating that I need him to get his legs into it a little bit so it looks more realistic. So, um, and Devontae's awesome. He, he was uh, game for it. And so you'll see right here, I get in position um, and then basically call action, tell him I'm ready. And he starts just doing his thing. And you can see the images popping right up over here and he's just killing it right off the bat. Uh, so that's, this is basically, you know, what we had going on. Um, you see, it takes a little bit of coaching from photographer to player just to let them know, not that I'm showing him how to, how to move or, um, play his game, but for the result we wanted over here, uh, I just kind of laid out, uh, what we were looking for, uh, and how he could best kind of perform for that image. And so boom. Here's the image we used from this setup. And then with a little editing, you can kind of see how the final image uh, turned out. Now I've had some requests for some samples using fewer strobes than this lighting setup we just went through. And fortunately we were able to squeeze in a couple more shots that fit this bill uh, before we ran out of time. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to set my video camera back up in time to catch these. We were running you know, really tight on time. These shoots, we always have a limited amount of time uh, with the player. And so these were add-ons that we did at the end and um, our Devante, was, he was cool enough to hang with us and he believed in the process enough to, to hang in and uh, allow us to capture some more stuff that expanded uh, once again outside of the box of what our core uh, shot list was. So anyway, the first one, um, 
where we use, we actually used only one light, um, which was a beauty dish on my mobile stand. Let's see, I got one right. If you can kind of see this, uh, it's a handheld stand and basically you mount this and I'll have someone um, walk in and they can basically move this light up and down, in and out. Also, I showed this, um, how I use this in some other uh, images in a previous video, which I will uh, link up here if you're interested to see uh, some more uh, examples of, of how I put this guy to work. Put that back down. Uh, um, but so back to the shot, I just wanted to uh, keep this one real simple and use that grittiness of the environment, namely the concrete wall uh, behind him. So the light is off to the uh, left of frame and held probably about a foot above his head. Uh, and you can kind of see the final result there with some uh, retouching. Uh, the next and final setup we finished with was with Devante's car, actually. So he pulled it in to our shooting space and I quickly ran around and set some lights to make this one work. And I just want to say that it's moments like these where years of experience kind of come into play. I had literally five minutes or less uh, to set some lights and make this shot work. Uh, you know, on top of that, there were six to seven people watching, including, uh, you know, an NBA player. And so I had basically one chance to get it right. And fortunately, it came out pretty well. Uh, so if there's one piece of advice that I can give about conducting shoots like these, it is to practice, practice, practice. So when unexpected opportunities pop up, and you'll be ready. Uh, and for this shot, as you can see in this um, behind the, you know, kind of raw image that I'll drop on the screen, I've got two, I've basically moved those two uh, pro photos with the reflectors to either side of the car on the back sides. And then I moved uh, one of the seven foot umbrellas to camera right to give me a fill and somewhat of a mane on the front of the car and kind of fill in the shadows on uh, Devante's jersey and um, pants. And then we once again use the handheld stand with the beauty dish for the uh, main light, which uh, you can see kind of is off to his, uh, his le or camera left, I should say, his right. Uh, so, you know, scrambling around, we were able to kind of make that work. And as you can see right here, I'm going to drop in the retouch version of that. And like I said, it's, uh, those are those kind of panicky moments where you, know, you really, I, I didn't, obviously I didn't have time to set up a behind the scenes video or my camera to record it. But at the same time, it was more of just an automated, um, I, I guess what I'm trying to get to is almost muscle memory more so than trying to really overthink what was going on. So I was able to kind of get that all set up uh, in a matter of just a few minutes. And that was the result, probably one of my favorite images of the shoot. Um, but okay, I think uh, that just about does it for me here today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed a little uh, peek into what goes into capturing images uh, for something like a New Jersey reveal uh, for a professional sports franchise. If you feel like this video is worthy, you know, please hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. So YouTube will let you know when I'm here. Uh, I know it might sound a bit crazy, um, but I should have yet another Jersey reveal video, uh, probably I guess in less than two weeks uh, on this channel. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna top this one. Uh, so subscribe the for, <laughs> so subscribe for that content. Uh, I'm also going to try and uh, get out another video uh, between now and then. Uh, I'm starting to carry on too much here. Uh, anyway, you can also find me on social media, Instagram and Twitter at Quants Photo. Please stay safe and healthy out there, and I hope to be here in the next one. <laughs>